Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be talking about security, which is typically not talked about enough. And the device that we're gonna be covering today is Fingbox. And you've probably heard of Fing before. It's a mobile app that scans your network to let you know what devices are on there, similar to Nmap. And Fing has created a physical device called the Fingbox, which I don't know why they named it that. It's more of a round. Fingbox gives the Fing app a lot more functionality, such as alerts and blocking devices. So let's take a look and see what's inside the Fingbox's box. Inside, you'll of course find the Fingbox, a blue outside cover to protect it, a power adapter, an ethernet cord, and a few other power adapters if you live outside the US. When you plug in the power cord and the ethernet into the Fing box with the outside cover, it was a little bit annoying to plug it in. But once you got it, I guess you don't really have to worry about it anymore. So you just plug it into your router, Fing box will light up green, and then you go to your Fing app and create an account, and then you add the Fing box. For us, it didn't recognize the Fing box right away. I had to log back out of the account I just created and log back in and then it recognized the device. But once it recognizes it, it just sets it right up. So the Fing box can do three main things. First, it can identify and analyze your current system. Second, it can notify you when new devices join your network. And third, it can block those devices. So first thing, identify issues with your current system. Fing box can scan your router and let you know if you have any open ports or anything misconfigured. And this is done in the internet security section. And that, it won't fix it for you, but it will let you know what you should fix. Another thing it can do is let you know how fast your internet speed is and tell you which devices are using up the most bandwidth. So that way you can identify some devices streaming a movie or, I don't know, using up a bunch of bandwidth when it shouldn't. It also can tell you your Wi-Fi signal strength. So you can walk around your house and see how strong your Wi-Fi signal is in different points of your house. Second, detect devices on your network. One of the best things about Fingbox is that it will notify you when a new device joins your network. You'd be surprised how easy it is to break into people's networks these days. If your password is your phone number, you better go change that right now, seriously. The Fingbox will also notify you if certain devices leave the network or come back to it. You can also set up a digital fence, which basically it can scan other devices around your home and you can also monitor those devices as well. Number three, blocking people on your network. So say a device joins your network and you don't want it to be on there, you can just instantly block it right from the app. You can also scan for other devices that are already on your network and you can block those as well. One nice feature too is it can pause internet on certain devices. So say you have children that you want to focus on homework in the evening or you don't want them to be on the internet uh, when they're supposed to be asleep, you can pause their device temporarily from using the internet. It'll still function but just won't have access to the network. And you can also schedule the pauses to happen on a regular basis as well. Fingbox can also detect if someone's trying to crack your Wi-Fi password, so that will notify you if someone's trying to break in. So overall, the Fingbox is a pretty easy plug and play solution for monitoring and managing the security in your home. Note that the Fingbox is not a firewall. So if you want something that can block data or monitor content, look at something like Disney Circle, but the Fingbox, because it's not a firewall, it won't slow down your network like a firewall will. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Every week we're gonna have reviews on smart home devices, so subscribe if you wanna see more. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.